please welcome Scott Robinson from Navigant to talk about the optimization of EV charging location. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about electric vehicle charging station optimization. So the reason that I care about this um, is that it matters. <laughs> because it impacts the grid, because it impacts customers, it impacts the adoption of electric vehicles, it impacts the climate, all these things. If I'm thinking about impacts, um, the first thing I think about is customers, because customers drive adoption. Customers care about range anxiety. Putting the station in the right place means that customers can drive their vehicles more. You don't have to push your Tesla to your charging station. So getting this location right increases adoption, decreases market barriers, can mitigate grid impacts, and can make the business model of having charging stations profitable. That's why we care. So here's my problem. I have these green dots. That's where existing stations are. And what I want to do is site some more stations tomorrow. And because I'm a math nerd, the way that I think about this is via optimization. So I'm trying to think about what the best locations on the map I can find are to site these stations in order to do something, my objective function, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so in order to do this, I've got to collect some data, right? I have to collect data on what my expectation about future vehicle adoption will be, uh, the road structures, what stations are out there right now, and how much traffic there's going to be and how much traffic of that will be electric. The way we model traffic, uh, we borrow from uh, algorithms that they use in hydrology. So we model traffic as flows through space from origin to destination. So we start with volume, and then we end up with a flow. Um, BEV penetration, we model it with systems dynamics in an enhanced bass diffusion model that tells us eventually, yeah, bass diffusion shout out. <laughs> um, long story short is we want to know what percentage of vehicles in the market are going to be uh, electric. <clears throat> you can choose to optimize now. What's your objective function? What do you want to do? Well, you could get the most bang for your buck um, by minimizing the number of facilities you can use. You can maximize coverage, so try to make sure that everyone with an electric vehicle has access to a charger. Or the most common and the model that fits the best right now is you can maximize your profitability. What that looks like is target market share. That's these, these are names of algorithms. Uh, you can probably ignore them. But the point is, this one is the one that fits the data the best right now. If we take those existing stations and we plug all our different algorithms in, this one fits the best. You can imagine that different entities are going to use different objective functions, right? So if I'm Electrify America, I might want to try to get the most bang for my buck. I have a certain budget. I want to cite a certain number of stations. If I'm Excel Energy, I might want to maximize my coverage because I have customers. If I'm ChargePoint, I might want to do this, which is this market share idea. I'm trying to make sure that I make money. So this, um, again, like I said, this model is the best explanatory one we have right now. However, it has some problems. These stations tend to be clustered. That means that not all customers have equal access. That means they tend to not occur in low-income areas. Um, all those things that you tend to hear about electric vehicle charging stations. So um, what we did is we, uh, we ran this model, this target market share, into the future. So we took like 20, 50 vehicle registrations in uh, Philadelphia for this map. And surprise, surprise, what you see is all this clustering. And so the future, if the future looks like today, uh, electric vehicle charging stations are going to be cited a lot like gas stations because of this classical economic problem that um, is a pain for us consumers, but is great for folks citing like Pizza Huts. Where do you find a Pizza Hut? Right next to McDonald's. Where do you find McDonald's? Right next to Burger King, right? One solution is you let, give utilities some stake here. Let them have a say in citing the stations because they have concerns about equitability in their customer base and they have this dispersed rate base. They have multiple folks. So again, we tried this. What does this look like? Um, this is a territory in the Pacific Northwest, existing stations in blue again, and then we run this um, maximize coverage algorithm over the top. Look how clustered those blue dots are. And then we run the, you know, the grid of tomorrow in green. It's a lot more dispersed, a lot more equitable. Um, that's one solution. So it all matters on who you are, what your objective is, um, and what you want to do. And it's important that we have a say in it. 
if you want to learn more about this stuff, you can check out this interactive map. It's all up on a GIS. You can play with it, change layers and all the thing. Thank you very much. Thank you.